in this lesson we'll uh, basically finish up the blocking of our car model and we need to just uh, make a little bit of minor adjustment on our um, geometric layout here because as you can see at the the back end here it just doesn't um, it's just not laid out properly whenever we go to uh, to add an edge loop and, and that's okay um, we're just going to go ahead and basically use the split polygon tool here and I'll draw out my edges to to match the edge flow a little bit uh, a little bit better and this just takes a little bit of time to and thought to, to go ahead and and get it laid out properly and you basically just want to you know get into the rhythm of the model As you can see, I'm you know just continuing to uh, to go ahead and cut our geometry in properly. And this way, whenever um, I go ahead to to take it in the in the ZBrush, it's going to smooth properly. Um, some people are probably going to say you're going to take this into ZBrush. Yes, and that and that's um, a little bit hard to explain why. Um, it's basically like adding a smooth modifier um, to the mesh without actually having to to add a, a lot of um, extra geometry and <coughs> it'll basically give me a um, a very very smooth mesh um, in terms of geometry without actually hitting three on the keyboard and it helps in the long run because whenever I go to smooth the the end model it's going to give us a very very smooth um, end result and that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for something that's um, somewhat blocky and, I, and I'm just so into basically using ZBrush that it, it's really no big deal to take it into ZBrush for like five minutes or so and, and basically smooth out some of the ears and some of the um, weirdness or um, pinching in the mesh and, and that just is caused by basically having two edges that are uh, a little bit too close to each other and if you don't notice it and you go to render it, it it's going to basically look like the car was uh, put through like a folding machine and you don't want to do that you, you really want to um, have a a really smooth mesh no matter what you do whenever you go to um, cut in your you know details like doors or uh, or windows door handles and, and whatnot and you really want to have a, a really smooth base because this way it's just gonna you know give you a better end result as well As you can see, I'm you know constantly pushing and pulling farts and, and, and trying to get it to uh, be laid out properly um, as much as I can. I don't really want to say that this is sort of um, all like extra work, but um, the more effort you put into anything, the the better your eventual result's going to be. So. Um, I tend to do a lot of a lot of adjustment um, throughout the process of you know no matter what I'm modeling, whether it be a character, whether it be a car, um, an next generation game weapon, um, an next generation game prop. The more effort you put into anything, the better your eventual result's going to be. But you also have to say, you know, at some point you have to just say, okay, enough is uh, enough is enough. Um, but I totally believe that 
anything and everything that you do can can constantly be improved so um, you know it's definitely a fine line in terms of um, getting the right amount of effort per um, per piece done properly so it, it, it's just you know what I mean you just have to to basically weigh your option and, and try and um, uh, do what's right so um, yeah you just have to you know try and manage your time properly try and put in the the right amount of effort and, and just go from there you definitely don't want to be spending you know four months on a color model that that, that would be way too long um, and, and probably would eventually end up getting you fired somewhere so you, you just want to put the right amount of effort in it and try and be um, as proficient and as, as speedy as possible because it's just going to help you know but like I said you have to be really uh, uh, really detail oriented and, and, and just trying to get it to um, to be proper so uh, just put some effort in and you should be able to get there you know properly but like I said you know I'm doing this this tutorial a little little bit different this time um, I'm doing it more of in terms of you know what I would actually um, take to to go ahead and create a a uh, a really good piece of art um, and the the full tutorial length may be ten hours it may be um, twelve hours I'm not a hundred percent sure on that <sighs> but I'm just going to show you you know my entire process of um, going ahead and, and actually modeling a car. And this is one of those things where it's you know it it's really just push yourself to to the limit that you can you know um push yourself as hard as you can to to try and make that art piece as as good as you can i mean if and and also if you know what we're doing what I'm doing for the car here if this was a production based model you definitely wouldn't be um, doing an extremely detailed car model um, yeah you would have to do a, a decently detailed car model but it wouldn't have to be you know 100 percent detailed car um, a lot of the times you're not going to need a gas pedal you know you're not going to uh, need like the inside part of the, of the gas tank or um, the gas nozzle or even things like the the little black attachment there for the for the spare tire you probably wouldn't need those because they probably aren't going to get filmed so um, but you also want to you know get the car as as detailed as possible even if it's just you know a personal rendering um, you really want to try to capture as much detail as possible because especially in cars because if cars aren't um, I would say like 80% detailed they just don't look right especially if somebody doesn't do um, like the inside part of the car at least uh, the seats are and whatnot and, and a lot of the times you see people like I said just render a car with black windows and it's just that's not a car um, and, and they tend to do that because they don't want to take the the time to go ahead and model the the entire inside part of the car and that's where it takes a lot of time and a lot of adjustment as well but if you don't at least do a portion of the inside part of the car it's just not gonna be impressive so you really want to try to put as much detail and as much effort in as you possibly can to to go ahead and have a really really great car and as you can see something um, is you know somewhat bothersome here for me and so uh, I'm going to continue to 
just push and pull and adjust if it's just needed to, to go ahead and have ourselves a, a really good car. But as, you know, as you can see, you can you could have seen the dent in the in the roof there, and I'll just continue to adjust the verts to try to get it to be laid out properly. And I'm really trying to let's say I don't want to really want to say match the underlying concept. I'm trying to get it to look like the underlying concept and. Um, the underlying concept here, yeah, you know, yes, it is a fantastic piece of piece of concept, but it doesn't match a hundred percent. So, um, in some cases, I do have to make the the adjustments a little bit larger or a little bit smaller. And this is just to to really get our car to to look the way that it should or the way that I want it to look. And it's just all an effort and so um, the more effort you put in you know like I said the better you're eventually gonna be so I just continue to try and adjust verts and try and get things laid out that the way that I want them to be laid out and so that it's you know a, a, a decent layout and a decent block out for the car And as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm constantly adjusting verts and pushing and pulling verts to try to get it to, to be laid out properly and um, be happy with it. And It just takes a little bit of time. And it's really starting to look like a car now. But as you can see, there's you know a lot of imperfection here, and and that's okay because I'll be taking this into ZBrush to to basically smooth out those imperfections, and when I bring it back into my, it's gonna look a lot better. But you know that's the basic general block out of the car, and there you go.